Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. It usually implies that we must stay safe in the world. Long ago, I used to teach self-protection seminars. I still had a bunch of carbonless forms that I was planning to use in my new direction after loss. Once my wife left, once she passed away into the spirit realm and out of my way in a different space, in a different time, and a frankly different continent, I had the right to replan my life, to decide what I was going to do going forward to make a living. The liars of the force thought they would keep abusing my property. The liars of a sibling set thought they'd keep stealing ideas from me. The liars of a person's family or a person's friend network or a complete and total stranger that we don't want anything to do with can often abuse us and abuse our technology. Technology abusers are usually a certain type of person and that person has decided that their rights and their decisions and their wants and their needs like a five-year-old child are more important than the actual citizens rights. Consumers have rights. We have the right to the privacy of our purchases. I purchased a brand new cord across the street at Burlington Coat Factory. It cost me practically eight dollars. It was a valuable cord to me, but shortly thereafter it got stolen. My guess is that employee told someone, because I didn't tell a person at all. Or maybe we just have players who work late in the early morning on the third shifts, if you will, who think they have the right to put their hands in a person's pockets, to explore them, to determine who they are, to do things that are immoral. What I know about this society in this particular community is plenty of people think they have rights over others. What I see is impoverishment and entitlement thinking. What I know is that people are born abusers. What I see every day are little black boys trying to beat each other up when they're waiting around, wasting time, waiting to get into a car with their moms or grandmoms. And I just look at those kids and go, God help us for the future. Didn't anyone teach them safe hands? Didn't anyone teach them that that's not okay? Didn't anyone teach them not to smack their girlfriends today? I saw a rather lean young man being led by his girlfriend, who's just a little bit more to love, and probably his steady, trying to smack her in the bottom. So that led her, a woman of fortune, to think that she should hit him back. And frankly, I would do the same. You don't have the right to play the hitting game. You don't have the right to abuse people. You don't have the right to financially harm people. You don't have the right to steal from people. You don't have the right to do things that you feel like would be funny to that person. Because what you've just chosen is a new life of criminality and crime. But what you've also chosen is a jail sentence and jail time. You see, America has rules. America has social mores. America has American constitutional laws that protect us from abuses.